Yo guys, JPR Tech here, and thank you for tuning back into my channel. We're talking again about low light, as you have noticed from the title of this video. Clicking in this video shows that you're interested in finding out the best settings for low light for Fujifilm cameras. Of course, there's no substitution to having a really wide aperture lens, such as an f1.2 or an f1.4, and even the good old f2 lenses like the xf prime lens lineup that fuji has even these are good enough for low light uh, the test that i i took recently was using this 50 mil f2 lens and personally i can tell you that it's more than enough all in all it was a very low lit situation we didn't have a lot of street lights a lot of business around to light up the the scene so it's a perfect chance to test out this uh, profile. And once and for all debate, which one is the best low light film simulation in the Fujifilm? It said Eterna, which as you saw in my indoors test, Eterna was the cleanest out of all the other film simulations. And I really wanted to put that Eterna up against F-Log. Now, this shot some indoors in a control environment with F-Log, between F-Log and Eterna. And to tell you the truth, I didn't notice much difference with the noise aspect, but I did notice that F-Log does leave a lot more detail in the shadows. So it gives you a little bit more playroom when you are doing in pose, you have more control over your overall image. Uh, so again, if you want, that control then shoot f-log but you don't have to shoot f-log eterna has great dynamic range and preserves a lot of great details and personally i believe eterna has cleaner shadows anyway but again in a control environment f-log is always the best choice but when you're outside that is the question you know once we start cranking up the iso will it affect will f-log just deteriorate drastically or will Eterna still keep up with the same pattern that it showed indoors? That's what we're about to find out right now. And yeah guys, um, so looking at the footages that I took indoors and outdoors, there wasn't a big difference indoors, but you do get more dynamic range using F-Log and in a control environment, I recommend that's the best way to go. But if you're in a pinch, each herna you can't go wrong. It does, it performs just fine indoors. Now outdoors is another story. I noticed that F-Log really gave me a lot of noise it was really noisy and grainy and it took a lot of work to make f-log look like and perform like eterna and it was still not as clean as eterna so the shots that you just saw right now it was just straight eterna raw out of the sd card out of the camera and it still gave me pretty decent dynamic range as long as i didn't clip the lights in the pole and traffic light the building it was fine, but that's the problem. It's kind of easy to clip. And with that said, F-Log does allow me to preserve the highlights a lot better. So if you're shooting in the city and you have interior, if you could see through the windows, the interior of the building, so you want to kind of get a balance of both outside and inside, then I would recommend shooting F-Log because anyways, with all that light from the building, you'll probably shoot an ISO 800 just fine without needing to bump up the ISO. But all in all, I still would recommend Eterna just because you could preserve, shoot for protecting your highlights, you know, turn on your, we have like the clipping of the highlight setting. We could show that in the screen and it'll let you know when you are clipping the highlights, you have a histogram 
in the corner of your screen, your Fuji cameras, all Fuji cameras have that. So you're able to protect your highlights that way and you should have nice dynamic range. The conclusion is that eChina is the king of film simulations in Fujifilm. It's great in low light, you got dynamic range out of the camera, it's very cinematic, it's not too contrasty and not too saturated, but you still have the freedom to fix that in pose, you know, crank up the contrast and the saturation, play around with the colors, you still have room to play with it. So yeah, I can see why a lot of people praise Eterna. It's just a great file to shoot in. Now I still like classic chrome colors better. It's just that it's just so hard to shoot in low light. You get a lot of noise. It's so easy to clip the highlights. So it's pretty much unusable at night, but I still like it. I shoot with it in the daytime in a control environment. It's just an awesome profile to shoot at. Now if you're curious, I could switch to that right now if you want. And here we are classic chrome and as you can see my skin the colors changed a little bit my hair got a little bit more contrasty now you can see why i really like chilling with classic chrome it's just that ah the clipping on the highlights just a little annoying even though i have highlights at minus two still clips there's no way around it you know can't have everything but anyway guys if you guys enjoy this quick comparison hit a thumbs up Subscribe for future comparison videos, how-to DIYs, and reviews. See you in the next one. Peace.